Many of today's businesses require continual data to make critical decisions. To ensure that you have the latest data available, SciSense provides live connections to some of the most popular data sources available. With live connections, you can complement traditional widgets built from elastic cubes to achieve a deeper level of insight and operational readiness. When you add a live connection, SciSense creates a dataset. A dataset includes connection credential details to the data source and defines the table where live data is pulled from. Each dataset supports a single table from your data source. Datasets behave like elastic cubes. For example, in terms of governance, all existing access rights settings and data security settings can be applied for live connections. When you run a query against a dataset, you are directly querying the data source. In this demo, we're going to take a look at how to set up your first live connection and create a simple widget with it. Let's assume you've logged into SciSense as an administrator. Open the admin section of the SciSense web application. Open the Elastic Cubes and Datasets page where you can see a list of your Elastic Cubes and Live Connection datasets. Let's begin by adding a new live dataset. Click Add Live Connection. SciSense now displays a list of your currently supported live data sources. SciSense is updating this list all the time, and you can learn more about new live data sources in the release notes published online. Let's get data from a Microsoft SQL server and create a live widget. SciSense prompts you to provide your database credentials. These are used by SciSense to access your database, so enter your database's IP address, username, and password, and then click Next. Your database schemas are displayed. Select the schema and the table you want to query. You can click Preview to check the data before creating your dataset. Finally, give your dataset a name. This step is optional, so you can use the default name. Next, let's define the refresh and timeout rates. The refresh rate defines how often your dataset is refreshed. The shortest interval rate you can set is 10 seconds. Keep in mind that SciSense updates your dataset by querying the data source according to your refresh rate, so your data source must be able to handle this load. The timeout rate determines how long SciSense waits before canceling a query that does not receive a response from your data source. Once you've defined these, click Done. Your dataset now works and behaves just like an elastic cube. Now that we've set up a dataset, let's create a live widget for it. Open the sample e-commerce dashboard so we can combine our live dataset and our elastic cube widgets together. Select the data source and click Change Data Source to select the live dataset. Datasets have the lightning bolt icon next to their name. Now let's make a new widget. For this example, let's select Cost and create a live indicator widget. The widget is displayed in the dashboard alongside traditional Elastic Cube widgets. Next to the information icon, you see the live icon that indicates that this widget was built on top of a data set. By clicking the information icon, designers and administrators can manually refresh the data and reset the refresh rate. Keep in mind that the refresh rate can't be reduced to the rate set when the data set was created. Once the widget is added, that's it. You can now make critical business decisions with the latest data from your data source. For more information, check out our online documentation about SciSense Connect Live.